These make the inside of my mouth happy. Mm. On this week's episode, we're talking about snacks. We're gonna specifically talk about chips and salsa. We have Garden of Eaton, blue chips, and late July, chia and quinoa chips. Oh, so it's good for you. Both of these chips are organic, non-GMO certified. Why don't you put what you would normally eat for a serving right here? And then what I, I would normally yeah, eat? And then I will read what it is and I will put out the correct serving next to it. <laughs> okay. No. Really? You eat that many chips? Okay. Does that represent what you usually eat? Okay, let's figure it out. This is, I think, where some people get in trouble with chips because they're so tasty. Let's be accurate. The real serving is 11. So why chips? Not? Yeah. Like 11 individual chips? Yes. That's about 11. Okay. It's not that bad. And really, who can have chips without some amazing salsa? Right. Extremely important when eating corn, products made with corn to make sure that they're organic, non-GMO. It's a key factor. Otherwise, you might turn into a corn chip overnight. We have people at our house on a regular basis yep. to watch sporting events. Salsa and chips is far and away the most commonly consumed food. Mm. Even kids, right? Kids, I have three kids. Two of them will eat just chips. One of them will dip it in the salsa. Does like watching sports make you want to eat chips? I Do don't, you ever watch no. sports? No. I used to watch bowling on Sunday afternoons when I was a kid. <laughs> GMOs are taking over the entire United States food system and um, corn is heavily GMO, so it's nice to see a non-GMO verified product. Both of these are. Late July and Garden of Eaton, both verified non-GMO. I didn't even need a full serving. Check us out on tasteforlife.com in the blog section under trend spotting. Don't forget to like us on Facebook if you haven't already. Share these videos with all of your friends. Get everybody trend spotting to a more nutritious lifestyle. It's trendy.